This is part three about Jackie, a Ghanaian woman living in America. And while living in America, she has successfully purchased land and is building in Ghana. In this session, she cautions us against four assumptions we as Americans might make. And she also shares three shifts that occurred while on her journey. By the way, if you're new to this channel, Awaken with Mark is about what happens when an African-American family relocates to the continent. Also, for free readiness assessments, just email us for in-depth consultations or courses to begin you on your Epic Africa relocation. Email us at awakenwithmark at gmail.com. That's awakenwithmark at gmail.com. Karibu. Join us on our journey. And now for the session. You know our, our mindset, and there's things we assume, and one of them, and a few of them, you already tore down those assumptions. Look, you got to pay piecemeal. You got to pay the architect to do the drawings. Oh, first you had to go to the chief and the king. Then you could go to the government if possible. And you got to like grease some palms there. And then, you, you know, you're itemizing for me. So what are some possible assumptions that uh, you would pull me aside like you would do and say, Mark, let me tell you. OK, now, you know, you living over here and you doing X. But when you have this place built or whatever over there, um, I need to have a different a shift in my mindset, I'm sure. And what would be some of those um things you would warn me about be careful as far as who you're doing business with and who you're trusting okay um so the, an assumption is that because somebody is nice and seemingly trustworthy doesn't mean that they are um don't assume that whatever paperwork somebody's handing you is legitimate okay um, also, don't assume that building something from ground up is going to be cheaper than perhaps looking at something that's already built. Okay. Because I, th I believe right now they're doing a lot of developing in Ghana. So they have custom made homes. And so if you are, you know, U.S. citizen or American trying to relocate to Ghana, I would say do your research and look at some of pre-built homes because that might be um, less um, complicated okay. than going the, you know, getting the, 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 because also another huge assumption is that just because the, the king sells you that land doesn't mean that it did not belong to somebody. So you could end up in a court case where somebody is fighting you for the land that belongs to them. Wow. Mm. Okay. What um, do you know about the the welcome mat that uh, I mean, we'll talk about the welcome mat that Ghana has placed out for um, U.S. citizens who are black who are coming over there. Not that it's your job to know it. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't, I haven't really researched the, the invitation. We call it the welcome map. Yeah. Um, I haven't really researched it. Um, a few friends have mentioned it to me. Um, so I don't really know all the criteria. I would just say for people to, before you pack your things and decide to relocate, I would just say, do your research. Um, so I just encourage everyone to do their research as far as what the legalities are with the both governments. Right. Sure. Okay. Thank you. That was very helpful. I kind of took you off uh, on a rabbit trail. I was trying to be honest there because that's <laughs> what I was interested in. And um, but let me let you get back to uh, how you were describing the building is already laid, the concrete uh, foundation and so forth. So go on with your your story. Yes. So I basically get weekly progress as far as where they are. And, um, you know, once again, money makes the world go around. Right. And yeah. so they were making tremendous progress, but the, the money well is going dry. <laughs> so. 
I, I'm telling them, slow down a bit. You're going too fast for me. <laughs> 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 um, so that's where we are, you know, as I'm talking with you. Um, they are, you know, the foundation is finished. The first level, um, it's, it's just incredible to see, you know, in people standing on the land that I own and building a building that came out of a dream, working with an architect to design. Wow. And yeah. it's yeah. actually becoming a reality. It's unbelievable, you know. And I should say, you know, before we started, I should have said that, you know, I, I believe in God. I don't know about anybody else, but... Mm -hmm. I believe that, you know, since I've been born, my steps have been ordered. Whether I listen to the spirit of God that's within me, that's a different story, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I think as I should become more mature. I think I'm able to stay still a minute and actually listen, not be so quick to jump, to do get something done. And I think listen, the listeners... Um, you know, that's one thing that I would also say, don't be so quick to jump. Sometimes you have to stay and listen. Right. Ooh. Be still for a minute. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Be still for mm -hmm. a minute. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, you know, when we want something, especially when we're driven, you right. know, we want to just get it done. But sometimes we just have to stop and just stay still for a second. Mm hmm Good. Yeah, this is very helpful. Yeah, thank you for these itemized instructions you're giving us. Oh, you are welcome. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what does it, um, what's going on in, in, inside of you? Uh, the, the, I, I think of the shift when a person finally decides they're going to do something and they haven't put the shovel in the ground yet. So now... There's also this thing that occurs in your psyche inside of you. It's really happening. It's for real. You can touch it. Yes. Yes. And it's a scary thing because, you know, it's, it, this is what the rapper means to rule. Jackie, you've been talking about this. Now it's here. It's happening. It makes me feel like an adult. <laughs> <laughs> homes in the u.s mm -hmm. i currently have one that i you know live in um thank god some of my my previous have been sold since but you know i have a family i have an automobile i have a, a delightful you know perfectly stable job you know stable income and throughout all of this i really haven't felt like an adult until this project started now i i have this higher sense of responsibility right and it, it's exciting and it's it's scary at the same time yeah <laughs> well i wonder if that is a true mark of a true vision or dream it's exciting and it's scary at the same time for various reasons exciting because of what can happen just think this is about serving others it's about building something for the future in your own family. I mean, bullet after bullet after bullet. And then there's this, the scary part, which is, um, and I don't want it to be limited to this, but anytime you're going somewhere you've never been before, and I mean that uh, sort of like a Star Trek metaphor kind of a thing, what you, every step is brand new. And so therefore you can't rely on being on autopilot. Yeah. Yes. But it, yes. Can, it, it uh, I would imagine for some people it can uh, it can be translated into invigorating and kind of fuel you forward um, to let's see what's going to happen next. Um, I know some people look at things and uh, I don't want to say that I've eliminated failure from my language, but um, I kind of tried to shift now to like, well, I just want to see what would happen if I did this. I'm just doing research. I'm going to see what's going to happen. And um, kind of moving on from there. And it's amazing also, and tell me if you think this is true or not, 
the things you begin to the things you need begin to show up when you need them and take the steps forward and life uh it's like god allows life to provide for you when you're moving towards it yes absolutely